All right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see how we can now upload an image file, okay? So to upload images, uh, pretty similar situation here. Let's go to uh, admin.php, that is. So here, something was posted, then we update. Now, before we update, let's check if there are any images. And then if those images exist, uh, let's, uh, let's upload them. So for us to know if an image exists, <clears throat> we just need to check if the file name exists. So because, let's do two things. Let me go to profile view. Inside the form, for us to be able to upload images, we need to change the encoding type to multi-part form data like this. So make sure you type it correctly like that. Okay. So once we do that, <coughs> then we are free to, to add images. Okay, great. So this will make it so that you have a, um, a variable called files that contains your files, whatever files you upload. It's not just images, you can upload any file. So if I go to preview here and come back, you'll see that in the uh, input, where is this? This is the one right here, the file input. The name of the input is image. So that's important. So let's grab that and come back to here because this is where the stuff is going to be. Now, before we go any further, I just want to show you what we will get from this. So just say show like this and then die. It's important to know what's in here. So I'll refresh the page so the form can refresh. And then I will, I will open an image here, load an image and then submit. Okay, so now that I've submitted, this is what we get. We get the name of the file. This is the original file name. And then the full path in case it was in several folders. And then we get the type of image. So we can use this to tell us uh, that these are correct images that we are getting, right? So then the temp name is where the file was actually uploaded to. So we can copy it from here. And then error should be zero. If it's not zero, then something wrong happened. You can check the error codes to know what type of error. And then this is the size. If you have a size limit and you want to limit people from uploading, you would have to use this. Now this is in bytes, not even in megabytes. So you have to divide this by 1024 and again by 1024 to get to what megabyte size it is because it's a million bytes there. Okay, so all we're interested in is to make sure there's no error and uh, a file name exists and then it's the correct file type. So let's add some if statements here. So here I'm just going to put an if and say if not empty. I just want to see if files, this will, will actually always exist because we have an image um, input. So it will always exists. So what we need to check if not empty that name. So if the name itself is not empty and then uh, there's no error, then let's continue. So if not empty, great. Let's start with that. Okay, then let's go down. And here I want to check if error is equal to zero. So change this to error. So if error is equal to zero, then we are good. No errors there. And then what else? Uh, let's check if, let's put, let's create um, an array of allowed file types. This image JPEG, 
we saw this is what a JPEG image is. So if you're unsure of the, the file type that you're uploading, just upload it and then echo out this information. It will tell you what type it is. For example, if it's a PDF, it will say application, uh, octet or something. I don't know. You can just copy it from there to know what file types to allow. So JPEG, uh, maybe you may want PNGs. I don't recommend you upload any PNGs or GIFs because these files um, are quite big. They're quite heavy for internet. So JPEGs are always just the best, but we'll put it there just to show you that it's possible. Unless you, um, because these are not lossless file types. PNG is a, it maintains the quality. So that makes it a heavy file compared to JPEG. Unless you're going to convert these PNG files into JPEG finally, then I, that's fine. But otherwise, which we're going, to, I'm going to show you how to do that here. But otherwise, uh, it's only good to accept JPEG. But in any case, let's just check if in array, let's say and. Now, if you want very specific errors, we'll put all these if statements here and leave them like that. And then here, I'll put another if statement and say in array. <coughs> So the needle is what you're looking for. So I'm looking in an array, I'm looking for the current type. Okay, so copy and paste here. I'm looking at the file we've uploaded, the type. So I just want to see if the type that I've received exists in this array. So let me paste that. If it does exist, then it's allowed. Everything good at this point. Okay, otherwise we can put some else statements here. And what we can do with else is add those errors to the error thingy here. So I'm going to copy this and say, let's say for example, if it does, there's no name, we just ignore things. But at this point, if there's an error, we can write something like users errors. Remember that there's this errors thingy and we can say image and say something like uh, an error or card. Yeah, or just say could not upload image. Maybe that's better. Could not upload image because an error actually occurred there. And if it's not the right type, then you can ch change here. Also put an else statement, paste and say, um, this file type is not allowed. Then you can list what file types are allowed. Okay, so you're just putting errors in there just to show the user if you want to. So all this is for the image. And then finally, so you, if you want, you can move this whole thing to one function so that you just run it from there. But if everything is good here, all we need to do now is move the file. So we say move uploaded file, and then we grab the file name. So the file, like I told you, is inside temp. Uh, if you check again here, it's inside temp name. So carefully here, don't put an E on the temp name. It's TMP. So let's put that here. And then we need a destination. So let's create a destination in our case. Now we need to create a folder for doing this. So here I'll start by saying folder is equal to. So this folder will be in the, uh, in the public folder. So I'll say uploads slash, and then I think uploads is fine for now. Maybe we can go to images like that. So upload slash images so that we can have videos as well, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, <clears throat> it's a good idea to put files in here as well, okay? So first of all, let's check if file exists. Okay, so if file exists, folder. Now we just don't, we just care if it doesn't exist, then let's do mkdir, let's make it. So we're going to create the folder. Let's give it permission to access. 
and let's put true to make sure that uh, if uploads does not exist, it will create it first before it creates images. Otherwise, this will fail because it will try to create images and you can't find this folder. So by doing this, we're telling it, create all the folders required to get to this one. Okay, good. So with that in mind, we're sure that the folder exists here, but I want to protect it. So I want to add an, a, an index.php file here and in here as well, just so that in case somebody tries to access, they will get an empty index file. So what I'll do is I'm just going to say file put contents. Okay, so what is the file name? The file name is going to be index.php, but where do I put it? I want to put it in the folder, okay? So C folder is uploads images slash, so it's going to be slash index.php there, okay? And what data do we want to put there? You can put an empty string or you can just do uh, PHP tags, and then just say silence, I don't know. Or you can put a message access denied if you want, but don't put PHP tags if you're putting a message, just type some text. Okay, so let me duplicate this. I also want to put um, an index page in the uploads section. So here I'll just type it directly. I'll just say uploads slash index.php and then put that as well for protection. Okay, so at this point, we should only do this if we've just created the folder. Otherwise, we'll be creating files indefinitely. So that's not good. Let's only do that if we've just made the folder. So now we've made sure that we've created the folder and everything and uh, let's create a destination for the file. <clears throat> so now the thing is, it's a good idea to, to use, we're going to use the same, uh, let me copy this, the same file name that we got. So I'm going to say is equal to, and let's get this. It's actually this one with a name, because that's the original file name, but if you repeat uploading the same image, you're going to have problems. So let's put a um, random value here to accompany the image. So first of all, we put folder so that we make sure it's in that folder. Then this gives us time, which is the number of seconds since 1970 up to now. So this value never repeats itself. It's just the current time is never repeated. So it's just going to give us time because the number of seconds from 1972 now will never be the same number. It will always be adding up. So time and then the file name, that way every file we upload is unique, even though it's exactly the same file name. And then we can move it to that folder. Simple and straightforward. So as you can see right now, we're in the public folder. We don't have an uploads folder here. So we'll see if this works when the folder is created. And once this happens, uh, we will have uploaded our file. But we need to save the file name. So we're going to get the destination here and put it as part of the post variable. So right here, once we move the uploaded file, I'm going to add uh, image to the post variable as destination like that so that we can replace there. All right that should do it. So let's give it a shot. So here I'm going to refresh since there's only already this file. I'm just going to refresh and uh, that should have worked, I guess. So let's check to see what has happened. So first of all, if we go to the public folder, you see now there's an uploads folder. If I click on it, there's an index.php file, which looks like this. Okay, then inside there's an images folder, which has an image right there. So it was uploaded. And then there's an index.php file as well. So things went well. 
but let's check the database to make sure things were recorded. So let's click browse. Inside the images, as you can see, it refers to that image. So everything went well, actually. So that's good. It's just that we're not displaying it here. So let's show that in the next video.